Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be looking at the movie Inside Out and we're going to be using it to help us with our pH indicator from red cabbage juice. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, how do you make your red cabbage juice? You're going to purchase the red cabbage in the store and they do look purple, not really red, right? Um, so go ahead and chop it up. You're going to put it in some boiling water. So use adult supervision if you need some help with that. Um, and then you're going to let it steep in that boiling water for a few minutes. Once the water turns this deep purple color and the leaves have really lost a lot of their purple, you're going to strain it out and the liquid that's inside will be this really deep purple color. And that's going to be your indicator that will turn colors when it's um, introduced to different types of acids or different types of bases. So let's look at that. So if you pour your cabbage indicator, first of all, your cabbage indicator is purple already. So that's neutral, right? That's the way it starts out at seven. So if we add an acid, it's either going to turn a pinkish hue or a red hue. If we add a base to it, it's going to turn either blue, a green, or a yellow. Okay. And notice all these characters from inside out. They'll help you to discover which one you really had. Okay, so let's look at our pH level with these numbers, corresponding it to our colors. So if you look at Angry over here, he's kind of like a zero to two on the pH, which is a pretty extreme acid, right? Um, now three to six, um, and then seven is gonna be neutral. Going to our weak bases, it's gonna be an eight to nine. Getting a little bit stronger for bases is 10 to 11, and then incredibly strong, or we can even say high alkalinity, is going to be 12 to 14. So let's go ahead and look at the substances we're testing. You can look at them all here. There's quite a few of them. And this is what a red cabbage looks like from the grocery store, you guys, just so you know how to identify it. And what we're going to do is we're going to line them all up on a table and we're going to put a clear glass so we can see what color it's turning. And I'm put a tiny bit of substance in the bottom of each cup. You don't need a lot here, okay? Just go ahead and put a little splash at the bottom of the cup. And then we're going to go ahead and pour the indicator, which is our red cabbage juice, right in the cup and see what color it turns. So we can identify, is it a acid, a base, or is it neutral? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start with water. We pour our cabbage indicator in and we can see that it does appear purple still. So it is a neutral. And we go ahead and do our hot sauce. Hot sauce, we do have to stir around because it is a bit thicker. Um, and it has to mix together in order to turn colors. And you can see that it is turning a shade of a dark, dark pink to even a red color. Um, so it is an acid. Next up is vinegar. And vinegar immediately turns pink. So this is definitely an acid. And bleach is next. And bleach is really cool because you put it in and it changes colors from a green to a kind of a brown to a yellow and the longer it sits the brighter and brighter yellow it's going to become we're going to come back to this at the end and i'm going to show you a picture of what the bleach looks like after it sits for a while but this is a very strong base all right we have our hand soap and hand soap we do have to stir around because it is so thick and it has to dissolve into our cabbage indicator and you can see it is turning pink so it is a acid. Sprite is going to be up next and we're going to pour that indicator in and you can see instantly it's pink so Sprite is an acid. Glass cleaner is next and you can see that glass cleaner does turn green so it is a base. All right, orange juice. You can see that orange juice does turn pink. So orange juice is definitely gonna be an acid. And we have our floor cleaner. Floor cleaner instantly turns green, so it is a base. And then we're gonna finish with milk and milk turns purple. So this is a neutral milk. Okay, you guys, so here's our solutions. This is a big shot of all of them together. Um, I did want to point out bleach because bleach does continue to change color over time and it becomes this very, very bright, very clear yellowish color. It's so pretty, um, but very, very strong nevertheless. So I went ahead and I put all the corresponding characters from inside out. 
matching the color what we end up getting when we mixed our substance with our cabbage indicator. So you can kind of see where the pH is felt for the products that we were using, the household products. So I hope this was helpful to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.